little bit about how you're passing on this knowledge in, in your not-for-profit uh -huh. uh -huh. at Stone Farms yeah. to these children because it's uh -huh. so important if you want to get people to become farmers, if you yep. want to get people to eat better. Yep. So how are you passing yep. that on? Yep. I mean, we are, we are trying to be innovative and create space for children to make discoveries. And we actually are focusing a lot of our work with two age groups. The first are kids who are three to six and their parents. So one of the things that's really important to us is we want the moms and the dads and the kids to have gardening and cooking experiences together. So wow. hopefully that becomes part of the family yes. culture. And just last week we had a program here called Little Cooks and Little Gardeners. So it's for moms and kids Aww. and they, um, they harvested carrots and ate the carrots and then they used our blender bike. We have a bike that has a blender on the back really? to make carrot top pesto. So they're getting exercise and they're cooking. Exercise. So it's let's move, let's eat all That's in one, one morning. So it's a lot of fun. Um, and we found, you know, research has told us that that group is very important because one, you can influence the parents and two, they're, they're forming their tastes. So we want to mm -hmm. develop a way of eating when they're very, very young. Um, that is healthy and and delightful at the same time. So we try to create experiences that uh, lead to something delicious and delightful. And then uh, we're also doing a lot of work with high school students now. So we teamed up with um, Entourage star Adrian Grenet mm, and, and his I organization. Like him. <laughs> we like him too. <laughs> and his organization, which is called Shift, which is an organization mm. that's about shifting um, culture to be more symbiotic with the environment and the planet. And we are working with him to develop a project called the Mobile Kitchen Classroom, which is uh, designed for high school students to think about food, science and history, food and the environment, food and justice and food and community. And so they take a semester long class that is a combination of reading and cooking and it culminates in them creating a mindful meal to feed mm. to their peers in high school. And we got really excited about working with high school students because they are starting to make many more of their own food choices and they are you know, getting ready to go to college or to start working and will be tremendously influential kind of in the next decade when it comes to food systems change as consumers by you know, making good choices hopefully at the, at the supermarket and at the farmer's market. I go to Colorado in the summer and I know there's a lot of agricultural colleges out there. Uh -huh. Are there a lot of agriculture colleges in the Northeast or is it just mm -hmm. more in the Midwest? Mm -hmm. And so there are. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a land grant system in this country. So there's a, you know, at least one place in every state that should be making some investment in agriculture. Um, most of them are not focused on issues related to sustainability, but most of them have some faculty members who are really interested in the kinds of things we're interested in, sustainability, resilience, healthy soils. We've cultivated several relationships with people at Cornell who work on Jack vegetable breeding. Yeah, it's, and they're, they're now really interested in flavor and inspired by flavor and recognize how something delicious is gonna help us change the food system and be an inspiration for people to eat in a different way. So that's really exciting. Are there really any exciting. universities out in, in Colorado or Dakota mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. any, of, any of the Midwest areas? Mm -hmm. Because they're, I would think they're big farm countries out there, mm -hmm. especially Kansas, places mm -hmm. like that. Yep. Are there any universities that are promoting what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Or is, the, is your foundation working with any of the leaders at the, those universities mm -hmm. to change the way people think? Mm -hmm. Actually, the president of the board at Snow Martins is a gentleman named Fred Kirschman. And Fred is the head of the Leopold Center at Iowa State. So wow. Fred is working in the heart of conventional agriculture. So big hog farms, big soy farms, big corn farms. And he works with lots of organizations in the Midwest, like the Practical Farmers of Iowa, and is... Um, Getting insp gathering inspiration from them and sharing inspiration from here about different ways of doing things. But there, there are people all across the country trying new things. I just got back from California where I was with a group of ranchers who are thinking about the soil carbon cycle and how soil can uh, affect change uh, re as it relates to climate. So I, I see really great things happening all over the U.S. in, in pockets.